it's always fun to be with my man Larry, yeah. and we can root for the Lions yeah. a little bit, even though they kind of let us down from time yes. to time. Most of those 17 years. That's right. You know, we thought maybe we'd talk <laughs> about that first playoff win here. Um, losing wasn't. Not that I didn't expect that they might lose this game, but the way they went about it, how, 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 how was the disappointment level with you and what happened? There was penalties and, and lack of execution. And well, I mean, unfortunately, the, the disappointment really came three weeks ago. I mean, they had an opportunity to go to New York against a very good defense and a tough team on the road and at least establish a win before they then had to go to Dallas and then play Green Bay. In every single one of those tests along the way, they lost. And in the National Football League, December is really, and quite frankly, the end of November into December is really a tale of what you're going to see come January. And what the Lions did is then just kind of play into that. They didn't play well. They went 0 for 3. They went 0 for 5 during the course of the season playing against playoff foot, uh, football teams. So going out to Seattle on the West Coast, given their record on the West Coast, it certainly was no surprise. The, to me, the surprise was this is a Seattle team that Russell Wilson had a couple of injuries, hasn't played really uh, well over the last little bit of time. Their run game was uh, anemic. Rawls certainly didn't look that way uh, on Saturday night, and it was because the Lions weren't taking care of business. But there were plenty of reasons to think they should at least make this close. And given that, with Matthew Stafford, who's been magical all this year, there was an opportunity to at least win. So overall, is this like, hey, this was a good season that ended poorly, or is it not a good season at all. You know, I, I just don't have the best taste in my mouth, I think, for this yeah. particular season. And the reason why is because, yes, we came back and won a lot of games, and we did so because we had a great quarterback, and we have some good players, but we have to improve across the board. I'm quite frankly surprised that prior to this week, given the extension that they did to Caldwell, uh, before this particular game, now, look, Jeff Fisher got a two-year extension, and he got fired relatively close thereafter with the Rams. To me, Bob Quinn has a lot of decisions to make here within the next week or two and long term on what it is that he expects and what is the actual level of expectation for the Detroit Lions moving forward. Remember, he comes from the New England Patriots who are top of the league right now and have been top of the league for some time. And the allure of having Bob Quinn here is to have a very high standard and meet that year in and year out. And I don't think this particular year certainly met that standard. Were you surprised they made the announcement that Caldwell was coming back? Is that maybe to take some of the conversation away from that heading into the playoff game? Um, I, I think ultimately that's what it was. I think it was to take away, you know, the, the whole notion that we're, you know, something may happen if, if, if we don't do well. It, again, I think Bob Quinn has a lot of interesting decisions to make. Certainly personnel, we're not there yet. There's some very good parts and some good young talent and a great quarterback, in my opinion. But in the same token, what's the standard and how are you going to get there? And long term, is Jim Caldwell part of that process? Certainly seemed like his first draft was really well done. Uh, did what we thought maybe Matt Millen was going to do, build from the inside out, started with the lines. Um, are you happy with what the direction Quinn has set them to go at this point? I think so. I think he had a good, solid draft this particular year. Taylor Decker, very, very good job this particular year. Played well all year long. Ashawn Robinson, still a little bit of a question mark there. You wonder kind of where he's going to end up. He certainly has got to elevate and with Holy not, a, not getting any younger. Uh, he's got to go. Killebrew did really well this year. I think Washington was somebody that came in and you could see uh, uh, flashes, but there are other guys too that we, we really you know got to turn to and figure out you know what are they going to be long term. Right. Lakin Tomlinson has not done yeah. as well as what we really wanted. Again, coming into to, to a season where you you want to see him start to dominate a little bit. Glasgow, I thought from Michigan did pretty well this particular mm -hmm. year, filling in and stepping in when he had to. So I think the draft overall was a pretty good success. Mm -hmm. And Bob Quinn again. I don't think the personnel side of it, I, he's got that down pat. To me, it's more about what are you doing with the organizational part of this long term and the head coach. Yeah, and built, he built some depth, and that was one of the big concerns. You mentioned the rookies on the line were great, but we got two free agents on the right side, Warford and uh, Riley Reef, both free agents. So they could end up having to rebuild that side of the line as well. Yeah, it, it really will be a dynamic uh, offseason in terms of personnel and what they try to do. The great news is for Lions fans, because we've won some ball games and we got to the playoff and there's very obvious pieces in place, free agency should be pretty good to us. If they manipulate the cap the way they need to, and, and Matthew Stafford perhaps maybe works with them on that as well, there's opportunities to get additional ball players here primarily in the offensive and defensive line. Let's face it, Ziggy Ansa has not had and did not have the season. He played towards the end of the year the way you were expecting, but 
for a guy that you should expect to have double-digit sacks, or you're at least looking for him to do that, he's certainly underachieved this year. And I think the defense as a whole, where exactly are the playmakers? They have some good guys that are back there that are playing in the secondary. They have some good linebackers, but we were hurt there much of the year. Where can you develop and put some guys that are true playmakers into that defense? You've got to find those type of guys to come in. There are some of those free agents that may be available during the course of the offseason. And again, Detroit is not some place where you look at and say, oh, I don't want to go there. They're not on the right path. They're definitely on the right path. I think Bob Quinn has something to do with that. But again, in this next week or two, it's going to be very interesting to me. Is it status quo is okay and it was a good solid year in terms of their mind? Or do we have a higher standard here that we need to get into and penetrate into the playoffs and start to make a run at the Super Bowl to make things the way that they should be? At the, you know, in Detroit. Right. Only about 30 seconds left. Uh, a tough question to answer quickly. But running game. I mean, they missed Theo Riddick terribly. Amir Abdullah was great. Do they need to get a big running back? I, I, I think that's an easy one, and, and doesn't take long to say yes. They, they've got to get a dynamic player, and Abdullah may be that guy. But there are, there are a lot of running backs that will be coming up in the draft, and there's also some free agents that they'll have to look at. A tried-and-true guy to get between the tackles and start to run the football. It showed up in the playoffs, and it showed up at times when they were losing towards the end of the season. You've got to be able to run the football, especially to take a little bit of pressure off a quarterback who's shown he can throw the ball downfield, deliver it all over the place, and it did so greatly this year, in my opinion, without Kelvin Johnson. It was a fun year, though, wasn't it? I mean, Absolutely. It was hey, we got to the playoffs. Sure. <laughs> That's a start. Now right. it's about getting into them yeah. and getting a little bit deeper and getting ourselves yeah. a shot at the Super Bowl. Thrilling with comebacks as well. Hey, well before we let you go, uh, Alabama, Clemson tomorrow? I like Alabama. Defense wins championships. Yeah. Alabama's hard to hard to push yeah. against. Although, if there's any team that can beat them, it would be Clemson. All right. Hey, thanks for coming in and doing this, and uh, we'll talk to you around draft time again. You bet. Thank All you. Right. Thanks, Ty.